a special one coming up here because when I heard this gentleman sing, um, God, I must come across like a very emotional person and I'm actually not, that's, that's my wife. Um, but, you know, I, I do sometimes get blown away by how great musicians really are um, and their voice and Neil Young was one. So I listened to a song of his um, only within this week and it was a real, real, real eye opener for me, like how great some musicians are um, and how great humans can be. Um, so someone said, listen to Neil Young, old man. So let's see what happens when I put that into this specific type of search engine that records videos that I use. Um, Neil Young, old man, right. Neil Young, old man, live. That is what we're going to be listening to next. Oh, it looks like it's in the same. Um, oh, there's two of them. The one when he is actually an old man, and one when he's much younger. Although there only seems to be five years difference between the recordings, but it looks like 20 years difference between the people. That sounds very judgmental. But anyway, that's obviously most likely wrong because the one that I'm gonna to listen to is probably about 20, 30 years old. It's just been put on YouTube. There's that search engine name I was trying to avoid saying. Um, it's just been put on um, YouTube about 13 years ago. Anyway, I'm babbling. Um, guys, that's coming next, Neil Young, Old Man. Right, before I get into this, um, please subscribe, um, like, dislike, make, you know, tell me what you guys are thinking. Tell me if you think I should diversify. Somebody has suggested to me that I should start listening to more international music and someone even said American comedy. I don't know what, I probably can get this from the analytics. I don't know what percentage of my, um, of, of the viewers are from America or, or US, South or North or Canada, but... I'm interested in, I mean, I grew up watching, you know, Cheers, Roseanne. I still watch Loves Raymond. I, I absolutely love Everyone Loves Raymond. Comes on in the UK every morning and I watch it almost every morning. There's some old classics that I don't know about, so I might I might go into that. Um, anyway, I'm digressing. So please subscribe, like, dislike, comment. Um, and um, yeah, let's see what happens when we listen to Neil Young, Old Man. I have to wait 15 seconds um, and in that time I will tell you there is a company called Hawksmere Health if you guys are interested in mental health or looking at your mental health motivation meditation spirituality that kind of thing it's run by the pros um, then I'll put a link on underneath and feel free to come and say hello right here we go This is a new song I wrote about my ranch. I live on a ranch in California. And I just bought it a while ago from uh, these two lawyers. And uh, there was an old man living on it. I don't know if you have things like that here, like uh, foreman on ranches. He's like an old caretaker, he takes care of all the cows, fences and everything. So I wrote this song for him. Old man, look at my life. I'm a lot like you were Old man, look at my life I'm a lot like you were Old man, look at my life 24 and there's so much more Live alone in a paradise That makes me think of two Love lost such a cost 
Give me things that don't get lost Like a coin that won't get tossed Rolling home to you Lullabies, look in your eyes Run around the same old town Doesn't mean that much to me To mean that much to you I've been first and last Look at how the time goes past But I'm all alone at last Rolling home to you Um, so, oh, by the way, I wasn't distracted earlier. I was, I had it on two screens and I was just flicking through the two screens trying to get the right one with, with the sound. Um, so it had all my attention. Now his voice to me just, it really does propel me. It takes me into a completely different zone, a different space. He's one of them artists that does it, especially on his high notes. He's just got such an amazing, charismatic, beautiful voice. And I absolutely, I love that song. Um, I've never heard that. It's very powerful, very, very, very powerful lyrics, actually. Um, you know, from a, from a great artist. And I've got, I got to say, like, there's some beauty in the simplicity of it. Um, there's something very unassuming and very original about this one performer on stage it's like a lone act how many great um, how many artists and I, I hate the comparables but I, it's got to be done but how many artists can just go on stage and do that there are a few you know now this day and age but to do it like that with so much charisma and depth um it's like he's almost telling a story when he sings so you know some uh, you, you can get a book, you can get a book and a, a hundred people can read that book and each person that reads the book will relate different to the listener and I think it's down to the storyteller as well as the words in the book and I think he's got it spot on. He's a storyteller, he's a musician and he's also reading this music and playing this guitar and he just does it so beautifully. I've become a very recent fan of his and I'm basing that just on a couple of songs. I mean, some people have recommended like, you know, 20, 30 songs. If I, if I have a look at some of these comments that I've got, there are people recommending do this, listen to this, listen to that. And I will get around to it. I'm going to, I'm going to go on the Neil Young journey and I'm going to really see, you know, what, 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 what it's about. Um, and I will get around to all these songs. So someone said, after the girl rush, hey, you know, they, they're talking about lyrics. Um, Believe in you, fountain blue, don't cry, ride my llama. Um, these are all some old Ohio cinnamon girl. I've seen the needle and the damage done. 
wow, even that title. So there's so much more for me to explore. Um, helpless, Carry On. I don't even know what these are. From Crosby, Stills, Nash and Young. Okay, that sounds like a, a group of artists or a band. I don't know. Let's try it, yeah? Let's, let's get it. I'm going to do some more um, reactions to music with a younger friend of mine called Zero who is going to be joining me any second. Um, and I'm going to go over some old music with him and see how he feels about some of the old stuff. I'm always banging on about it. He's literally half my age. I'm 42. He's 21. Um, he lives in a in a world I don't really recognise too too much. But that's not because it's bad. It's because I'm just a grumpy old fart. Um, but yeah, um, we're going to see if we can come together and see how gold this old music really is. So that's coming next. Going back to this. Um, phenomenal phenomenal artist um phenomenal you know lyrics um you know even when he started when he says uh, look at my life 24 there's so much more live alone in paradise that makes me think of um makes me think of too and i just think like there's so much depth to that you know <laughs> i know it sounds pretentious but it really is it's like Love lost. I'm reading these. Such a cost. Give me things that don't get lost, like a coin that won't get tossed, rolling home to you. That's beautiful. I mean, that's. I know rolling, rolling. It reminded me of Bob Dylan, but I can see why because you know, the, the stone that keeps on rolling. Um, finding its own way home, if I've got that right, something like that. Um, but yeah, uh, that was phenomenal. So I'm big fan. Um, very, very, very convinced that he's one of the greatest very casually say that's 92 percent i mean that for me is very high yeah I mean, you don't think i'm just being blase about it is it's phenomenal he's a phenomenal artist and i i look forward to you know the discovery of more 